Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, iPod King Carter. Uh, it was a lot of news that dropped this morning, man. A lot of speculation and confirmations. And, bruh, the Eagles ain't got Sam Bradford no more, dog. We free, dog. We is free from this Chip Kelly offense, this Chip Kelly era. And with Sam Bradford, the boot is ready. Man, you know what? I'm ready to react to this news, man. I'm hyped. Just, just let me chill right now. But let's get into this news, dog. Let's get it. You hear him? Another team's weakness. So sorry for the Vikings. So sorry. How does it feel to know that you put yourself in this position? To know that you're going to have Sam Bradford for a full season? Oh, my God. The Vikings lose Teddy Bridgewater to a season-ending knee injury this past week. They call the Eagles. The Eagles want him and Sam Bradford. Wanted to keep stop lying, bro. You know, God darn well. As soon as the Vikings called the Eagles, Sam Bradford was already packed and put in a cargo plane. Stop that. Of course he's going to be their quarterback for opening day next year. Unless he happens to get injured on a plane or something like that. Of course he's going to be the starting quarterback. The Vikings have no quarterback. Duh. Reunited with Pat Shermer, who works as the quarterback's coach in Minnesota. Worked with Sam Bradford before in various places in Philadelphia. And this is a case where the Vikings also know that Teddy Bridgewater's out about a year. Yo, I hope Teddy Bridgewater don't pan out to be like another RG3, bro. That's that's sad, man. It's real sad. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy Sam Bradford, though. Bradford and his two-year contract at a steep cost. But keep in mind, the Vikings are opening a new stadium. You can't go into a new building and have your team deflated from the outset by losing its quarterback. And so, they- true, true, true. You think these dudes still got chemistry? Is that is that what we doing? Come on, man. The NFL is crazy. They'll say anything. Had a run on a Pat Shermer system. They wanted a quarterback who would be accurate. They wanted a veteran with experience, and they have traded with the Philadelphia Eagles. And Sam Bradford is on his way to the Minnesota Vikings. But is not anybody going to talk about what we got out of this deal? First of all, we just got a 2017 first round pick, bruh. Not only that, hold up, hold up, before he talk, and we having a draft in Philadelphia, the NFL draft is in Philadelphia, we got a first round pick for 2017 from the Vikings, and we got a pick in 2018 from these dudes, yo, we are winning, the only thing, the only problem that I have is that if Carson Wentz comes back, I need him to sit out week one, I'm gonna keep it all the way honest, man, Daniel, Go ahead, start week one. You know what I'm saying? I need Carson Wentz to go ahead and sit out for another week. Make sure his ribs is good. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't need him coming back getting injured again. I don't want to lose my quarterback for the rest of the season. You feel me? But let's see what they got to talk about. What Sam Bradford do for this team? Well, he, he stabilizes the offense. A veteran guy. He stabilizes the... Are we serious? You know what I mean? You know how many times Sam Bradford had to throw in Philadelphia? He lucky he got AP. That's what it is. This this is luck for Sam Bradford. Uh, that knows uh, he's going to have a big role uh, on this football team. And one of the biggest roles he's going to have is the fact that he has experience playing quarterback. Uh, as we know, Pat Shermer is the, uh, the quarterback coach, but really Norv Turner is the offensive coordinator. And he likes quarterbacks that can throw the ball down the field. I mean, he's come, he comes out of the Dallas Cowboys. Yo, this face? What's up with my man? That That's what we doing, bro? You the Grinch now, bro? The system along with the Los Angeles Rams, where the system was built, was built through the runner. And they have an excellent runner, Adrian Peterson. 
Uh, he likes to get the ball down the field if you know North Turner's offenses. And I've uh, competed against North, uh, watched North a long time in this league, and so Sam fits the mold of a quarterback that he wants. As, Teddy Bridge, as good as Teddy Bridgewater was last year, it was more of his ability to lead the team rather than his ability to throw the ball down the field. Look, Teddy Bridgewater only threw 14 touchdown passes last year. True. Well, Sam Bradford has the same ability to get the ball vertically down the field. That's all we talked about. But how many touchdowns is this man going to throw? That's the question. You know what I'm saying? You just said Teddy Bridgewater can't throw the ball down the field, but he scored 14 touchdowns. But what is Sam Bradford going to do? Come on, man. On the offseason, can Teddy Bridgewater become a more dynamic passer down the field? We know Sam Bradford has that capability, and this is a team, as you said before, is slated to be a Super Bowl contender. Now they have a quarterback, more energy in Minnesota for everyone. The fan base, everyone's excited. But as Linda just mentioned, can Sam Bradford stay healthy? That'll be the, the, the key for all. Bruh, these Super Bowl contenders with Sam Bradford? Say less, bro. Also, we do got to worry about if he can stay healthy, man. I mean, I didn't see much of a hurt out of Sam Bradford last year. I mean, he... Did a couple things, you know what I'm saying? Tweaked a couple things, got hit hard a few times. You know what I'm saying? The offensive line ain't hold up for your boy, but all in all, man, I feel like it's a good move for the Eagles as well as a good move for the Vikings because the Vikings had nothing a few days ago. They literally had nothing. Like, literally, people were like, yo, the Vikings season is over. All they're going to have is AP trying to run his heart out, but they got Sam Bradford. Cool. We got Carson Wentz out the draft. We had a lot of options, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like. Getting a 2017 first-round pick does a lot for the Eagle stock coming up in the NFL draft, man. That's the I guess that's their main point why they made that move. You already know it was, but it is what it is, man. Um, I woke up to the news, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm in Seattle at PAX right now. It was insane to wake up to tweets like, yo, yo, Sam going, bro. We free, bro. You know what I'm saying? The chains is broke. I'm like, what? You know what I'm saying? Coming to find out Sam Bradford is gone. But it is what it is, man. Um, this is your boy IKC signing out. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit me up, man. Yo, hit me on Twitter, man. Tell me what y'all think. Hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what you think, man. How many Eagles fans is out there that's happy, that's mad, that's okay with the news, that's pissed? Let me know, man. I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.